Hello everybody, welcome to Wasteland 3. I got my crew picked out, which was easier said than done. Now it's time to survey the base. So I'm going to start in the control room here. So let's get going. There's some armor, so we'll put some armor on Donald here. Buckshot, I'm going to give the range bonus to. Sparky. And uh, she can actually take this as a second weapon. Okay, so that's it for the armor. Now I'm going to continue on outside here. There's a little bit of loot out here, plus a dog companion that we can pick up. Systems active. Greetings, Rangers. Okay, a couple more pieces of armor. Oh, <laughs> look at that, Quan. And uh, now that I think about it, I think we can give uh, Buckshot a second uh, weapon there. the other side of the headquarters here.
Okay, next up is the garage. Cleaned out, you can put your truck in. All right, I'll set up my crew back here. can go over here. McBain can stay there. Quan, I'm going to put right here. Okay, here we go. Sparky, I'm going to get out of there. Not enough AP. Let's see what kind of damage Simo can do. Okay, not bad. One. Not enough AP. Okay, he's gonna be... Just stay there. And... Oh, I should have carried over there, but no matter. Miss. That's good. Okay, I might get out of this unscathed. So this thing has some loot in it. Plasma gun, so the uh, Quan can use that plasma gun for now. And there's also these uh, trucks. has the answer. Introducing Hermes, the revolutionary vehicle AI that's an expert driver, navigator, and auto mechanic all in one. Hermes remembers your daily commute, gathering up to the minute traffic reports to plot the quickest route to your destination. The AI also takes care of basic maintenance, keeping your vehicle in peak condition. Visit your local dealership for information on a Hermes upgrade kit today. Consolidated Atomics, 21st century solutions for the problems of today. What a stink. Somebody's been using this medbay for a morgue. Gonna take an ocean. <laughs> 
bleach to get it ready for customers. That's a lot of bleach. Okay, that's the only guy that's got loot in here. All the rest of them uh, is just uh, examine the bodies and get some XP for your next level up. Except for this one. You have the option for first aid four. But I don't have that, so that's just going to be uh, missed, I guess. And down there is a vault that you can't get into right now. Okay, now the other side of the uh, base here. Now there's a couple of beasts in here. Pretty grand in here. Maybe you can make it your trophy hall or museum or something, or a handball court. So I'm gonna put Simo up here. Rest of the crew can go in here. close to being detected there. Striking first gives a strong tactical advantage. All right, so where is the other beast is a question. Way in the corner over here. Okay, but McBain, you're not doing nothing. Sparky. Okay, not bad. Buckshot. Not gonna be able to do too much there. Not enough ammo, so he's just gonna hunker down right there. Okay, that went good. Uh, 
and that uh, this uh, terminal has just got logs in it and uh, you need nerd stuff one two three four and keeps going up so we can leave that for later I believe that's all the loot that's in there. Please, don't shoot. Who who are you? You're not dressed like the marshals. I'm Del Hackett, and I, well, I, I speak for these people. We've been living here for months, and we've got nowhere to go. Please, will you let us stay? Bad idea. I've been in their shoes, but this is a military base. If we have squatters everywhere, it'll be hard to keep discipline. Your recruits won't like it either. The Patriarch's people don't care about people like us, but you're not beholden to them. We all farmed in the border country between Colorado and the Plains. Thought we were safe out there, under the Patriarch's protection. Back then, the gangs feared the Patriarch. <laughs> Not anymore. They burned our greenhouses and killed everyone who tried to fight them. No place left to run but here, for any of us. Not intentionally. The Patriarch's people drove up to the base a few days ago, so we hid in here for a while. Then when Andy went to check if they left, all the doors slammed shut and the alarms started whooping. Don't know what happened. Been living in these ruins for weeks and we never set anything off before. Your call. Won't make the volunteers happy, but the Patriarch put you in charge, not them. You said... Yes. Uh, well, I was sure you wouldn't. We won't be any trouble, I promise, and, and we'll help out wherever we can. <sighs> Thank you for giving us a chance. Oh, and uh, one of our people is missing. Andy. If you find him hiding out somewhere, you send him back to us? Hear that, everyone? We gotta make ourselves useful around here. This is like a makeover machine if you don't like the look of your character.
on with the dead now dead that might have been Andy I'm not sure shirt like that once a long time ago long long time ago um, headquarters for what that's cool helping's good I like helping uh, are there like more of you here oh yeah man of course I don't know I don't mind. Ask me whatever. My name? Uh, yeah, ah. Uh, Ned. Ned? Harry. Nick. Booger. Dickens. Lyle? Uh, something like that. Honestly, I don't, you know, remember. Been a long time since I thought about that, man. Been a longer time since someone, uh, Ask me about it. I... I couldn't have been here for a while. Couldn't tell you, man. Couldn't tell you. Like, there's no windows or clocks in here, you know? Hard to keep track of when the day, uh... When the day starts or... Ends. Anyway, a long time. Long enough for other groups, uh... Other people to come and go. Because, uh, the cell door is locked. <laughs> oh man, didn't you like my joke? Okay, okay, like, well... So a guy I used to be friends with, well, I guess he was more of a, more of a business partner. Friend though too, man, like former friend who decided he didn't uh, want to go split seas anymore. So he, uh, he conked me on the head. And when I woke up, um, I, I was in here. Real bummer, man, like seriously. That's, uh, some wild stuff. So a while ago, that dead guy over there came running in here all nervous and, uh, freaked out and starts messing with that, uh, computer machine over there. And yeah, then there's this big-ass flash of light from the computer machine and he falls down and then all these, uh, sirens and flashing lights. It was horrible, man. Like, it made it really hard to sleep, you know? Then after a while, the alarm stopped, and then, um, well, you came in. What? That's, uh, that's really something else. Some poison killed that poor guy at the exact same time as that machine zapped him? Man, what a, what a wacky world. Oh man, yes, yes, please. Very much. Uh, you're calling this one, Rangers, but really, I just let nature take its course here, if you know what I mean. I'd, uh, I'd really, really, really like to get out of here. Really. Really? Oh, man. Yeah, man, you're just the tops. The beanies. I owe you big time. Thanks, man. 
Thanks so much. Oh, yay! Thank, uh, thank you so much, man. I owe you big, uh, real big time. This won't be the last time you hear from me. All right, we've uh, pretty much surveyed the base. So that'll be it for this video. I'd like to thank everybody who subscribed to my channel. I'd like to encourage everybody else to subscribe, please. And if you want me to keep you posted every time I upload a new video, just click that bell at the top right. Thank you very much for watching, and God willing, I'll see you in the next one.